Hi everybody, uh, my name is Joe Bagley. I'm the city archaeologist of Boston. Um, if you've heard of either me or the city archaeology program, uh, more than likely it's because you've seen our city archaeology Facebook page, um, which we post very regularly to. Um, and I'm going to talk about kind of our social media presence through Facebook briefly. Um, so I founded the City Archaeology web uh, Facebook page in February of 2012. I'm going to take a second here. <laughs> <laughs> so by August 2013, which was 18 months later, um, we had accumulated just over a thousand people. So it took us 18 months to get to our first 1,000. Um, and it was an additional 24 months before we hit our first 2,000 people. Uh, but that said, um, now in March, um, I'm sorry, in this year, on, in February, I knew I was going to be able to talk about this at the same time, uh, this year in February, um, on our three-year anniversary, um, we're going to be just over 3,400 people that are actively following the work of the City Archaeology Program. Um, and so my point today really is that when I talk to people about working on Facebook and so posting social media things, I'm a team of one. No other people work for the City Archaeology Program. The first thing that people come to me and ask is, how do you have enough time to post several times a day during busy times of the year, such as Archaeology Month, and various other times when we have to actually get work done. And essentially what I always tell people is that it's really not that hard because I just posted to Facebook while we were talking, including a description and everything. So my whole point that I want to get across, which I'm only halfway through, so I'm going to be wrapping up pretty soon actually, is it's not that time consuming. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And people fundamentally think what we do is cool. So even the most mundane things, like I have an old box that I'm carrying around today, that's going to draw interest from people to see actually what we do. Um, I have meetings where I'm walking up to an old building and I snap a picture of the meeting of, uh, of, the, of the building that I'm walking up to saying, I've got a meeting with a school program today. And I get a thousand people like me are, are viewing it. Um, and that's really important because it shows the, the kind of diversity of what we actually do. Um, and to kind of close, what I wanted to say is that archaeologists are content producers. We have something that nobody else has. We may be dealing with 30, 40 year old archaeological collections, but the fact of the matter is, other than us and maybe one other person, no one has ever seen the stuff that we're actually handling on a day to day basis. So when we put something online, on social media, and in the public, that's new information. And that's a draw. That's what people want to have online and through social media. They will come to you. And that's how we staff our volunteer days, which are all done voluntarily. That's how we staff our lab, which is entirely uh, run by our volunteers. We have no other paid people in the program. And more fundamentally, that's where we get the attention from the city itself and other people within the city of Boston because of our presence online.